Soil compaction issues cost WA grain growers millions of dollars each year in lost production and are becoming increasingly expensive to fix. The Grains Research and Development Corporation and the Department of Agriculture and Food are running trials across the wheat belt in 2015, investigating new ways to minimise subsoil compaction with controlled traffic farming and to prolong the benefits of decompaction. There's two ways to manage a compaction. One is to avoid, avoid the, ma the major issue, and that's where you move the wheels to a common internal road base that occupies about 10 to 15 percent of the paddock, and that's what CTF is all about. And the other part is to decompact the soil and maybe modify it with other things to overcome other constraints. But when you do that, when you do the decompaction and maybe adding lime or gypsum, you're looking at costs which can be over a hundred dollars a hectare. Without controlled traffic, uh, it's likely that about 40% of the paddock is wheeled over every year. So it's possible that many of those benefits which you've invested in will be lost in two or three years without controlled traffic. The trials will look at whether soil water infiltration can be improved by adding organics, gypsum, lime or chicken manure pellets to stabilise the soil after decompaction and how much it may cost. We've got money to run these trial sites for four years and we would hope that where we've added organic matter from the topsoil or from other sources into this rip zone that it will let the roots proliferate as we've seen with buried topsoil in moldboarding and it will keep that soil open and help to overcome some of the chemical problem and then hopefully in four years time we may see those treatments with included topsoil with topsoil slotting we may see them still performing reasonably well. Paul says that topsoil slotting is a simple way to get topsoil into the subsoil with a deep ripper and could potentially improve plant root penetration where compaction, acidity or sodicity are a problem. Most commonly available organic matter on the farms is actually the topsoil itself. So the idea of these plates is to get more of that material into the subsoil. We saw something of that effect with some COGO funded trials run by West Midlands Group last year or the year before, where they attached behind tines quite small pieces of metal and the topsoil fell quite readily down behind them. Beacon farmer Stuart Faulkner is hosting a trial site and hopes to get a better understanding of the full cost of subsoil constraints. He and brothers Raymond and Jason started controlled traffic farming in 2009 after realising that compaction issues were costing them grain yield and it's paying off. We're finding um, lower draft with uh, the seeders, um, the soil is much more friable, the seeding machines are running on a hard tra traffic track so they're not slipping or anything, they're getting very good power, power to the ground, good fuel efficiency usage. Um, and yeah, as for spraying, a, a one that we hadn't really thought would become uh, a positive, but yeah, by having that nice hard traffic road, um, we're not having so much dust issues when we're summer spraying and things like that. Stuart says he's particularly interested to see how the stabilising techniques will enhance the deep ripping and controlled traffic operations. With our controlled traffic, deep ripping, and then hopefully getting some gypsum or or the um, dynamic lifter down into that lower soil profile that will um, promote plant growth, root growth and hopefully um, yeah, can, the moisture that's available down in that um, soil the plant can have readily available and hopefully increase yields. If we want to continue farming out here we're going to have to grow crops more profitably and to get a yield of nothing due to the crops burning off on sodic soils uh, compared to something that might yield half a tonne or better, well, it sort of uh, answers the question that yeah, if, if we can achieve that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make us more profitable and hopefully sustainable.